Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking in HD. Today's episode features two main ingredients, roasted red peppers and braised chicken thighs. I actually think chicken thighs are probably the best tasting part of the chicken, but they have to be cooked right. So we're gonna cook them low and slow to bring out their flavor. And then we're gonna put them in a creamy roasted red pepper sauce that I think you'll really enjoy. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna introduce you to our main ingredients here. We've got obviously chicken thighs. These are bone in, skin on. It's exactly what we want. The bone is gonna actually help them to remain moist and tender. And then also we've got our roasted red peppers. We've got minced garlic, that's about four cloves. Uh, next we've got mushrooms. These are cremini's and I've diced them up. We have uh, yellow and red onions, one of each leeks which i'll dice up you only want to use the white part the, this part here that's kind of fibrous don't use that uh, scallions i've got some uh, sour cream uh, some oregano from my garden a couple bay leaves and finally some thyme not quite this much just you know a couple sprigs the next part is actually a two-stage cooking process we'll take the chicken thighs we'll put them in some flour to dredge them up a little bit and then we'll fry them in a deep saute pan and that'll give them a, a really nice crispy coating. And then we'll take them out and in the same saute pan, we'll put in veggies and some other ingredients. Here's our first of eight chicken thighs. Dredge it up in the flour, like so. And then transfer it over, skin side down, to our saute pan. All the chicken thighs are now on and they're getting a crispy coating on the bottom. They still have a bit of a ways to go. Our chicken thighs are ready to turn. See they're nicely golden brown on the bottom. And now we'll fry them up on the other side. And now we'll do the other side and put the lid back on. Thighs are now nicely brown on both sides. So we're gonna take them out and set them aside in a clean bowl. And then we're gonna fry up our veggies in the same pan. Using the same pot as where we just fried our chicken thighs and set them aside, you now wanna put in all your aromatic ingredients. Your leeks, your onions, and your garlic and we'll slowly saute these up as well. About 30 minutes has passed and I've really rendered these onions down quite a bit. Uh, I guess I've sweated them out. About 15 minutes uh, with the lid on and then another 15 minutes or so with the lid off. And now they're, they're just silky and smooth and we're ready for the next step, which is to add our uh, roasted red peppers, uh, mushrooms and herbs, salt and pepper to the mixture. The next step really takes the flavors up to another level. I add about four tablespoons of yogurt creme fraiche or sour cream, whatever your liking is. And then I mix them in. This makes the sauce nice and creamy and almost ready for me to reintroduce the chicken into for some low and slow cooking. Now with the sauce done, I just put the chicken back in one at a time. These have been cooking now for about uh, 10 minutes or so. I'll just give them a little bit of a stir around. And you'll notice I also put in a couple bay leaves to uh, add to some flavor. So a few things to point out about this recipe. You want to make sure that there's always enough braising liquid inside the saucepan. So I've added chicken stock now twice to make sure that the chicken thighs are always submerged. 
and you want to make sure that you skim off the fat because the skin is still on these chicken thighs and that means that there's actually quite a bit of fat in the pan and you probably want to remove that before you serve it. These have now been on for about 50 minutes. Now, so let's take a closer look and let's just pick one up here. You can see that they're really starting to fall apart. Super tender and if we find the bone you can literally just pull it right out. So these are done and we're ready to take them off and I'm cooking up some pasta because I'll serve them over a bed of pasta. They look delicious. And there you have it folks, here's the final product. And that chicken is just falling off the bone. It's so absolutely tender. Hope you enjoy it.